Hi guys, it's Leo from MediaWay. Today I'm going to show you how I put this image of a Land Rover Discovery together in Blender. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I use to speed up my workflow in Blender. This video is not sponsored, but I do use two assets from Polygon Eek, which are both excellent and I highly recommend. And there are affiliate links down below if you want to go and have a look at them and help support the channel. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because I put together a little animated surprise for you as well. Okay, let's get started. Right, we'll start by selecting everything with A and pressing X to delete everything. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a house from Blender Kit. Let's just search for one. And the first one that comes up is just the job. This will give us some scale to the scene. Okay, so the house is there. We're gonna add a, a plane to use as the ground, really. So we just scale that up with S. Uh, a bit more, I think. Um, and then just scale it a little bit along the Y axis just to make it a bit longer, give us a bit of space. Control A to apply all your transforms. Uh, we're just gonna go into edit mode by pressing tab. Uh, and we're just going to subdivide this. Let's see how many times we need. Uh, I think 10 times is probably enough. So we're going to go now into using the sculpt mode. Let's just get rid of um, Blender Kit. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to use the inflate tool. And let's just scale that up a little bit. And we're going to add a little bit of hill just over here at the back of the house. So you just use the inflate tool on the left and then just click and drag your mouse to make a nice little hill. And we're gonna do the same just over here on this side as well. We'll just have a bit of hill coming up just to give it a bit of interest and break, break it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got two nice little hills there. Go back into object mode, just right click shade that smooth. And we're going to add some, we'll just give that a grass color just for now, just to give us an idea of where the grass is going to grow. Okay, and we can see that just there. Okay, okay, so we've got a nice little house sitting there. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add um, a little sort of platform for the car to go on. So I'm going to just shift right click to put my 3D cursor there. We're going to add in a cube. Uh, we're going to scale it up a bit. Scale it down on the Z axis, so that's S and Z. And we're just going to pop into edit mode with tab, press 3 to select the face select, select the top face, uh, E to extrude, just a tiny fraction, S to scale, uh, just a little, I just want a little overhang like that, and then we'll extrude that as well. So we've just got a nice little sort of platform for the car to sit on. Right, okay, we can add the car. So right click again with your shift right click with your mouse to put the 3D cursor there. And then we're gonna use these tools from Polygon Eek. So we've got uh, traffic and we're gonna spawn the asset, choose contemporary cars and we'll have the Land Rover Discovery. We can choose a custom color for it. So we'll just take the saturation now. We'll have a, just a nice white car. Click OK, and there it is. There she is, isn't she beautiful? And you can see these cars are already rigged, ready to go for when you animate them. So just press 7 to get to the top view. Ro R for rotate, Z for the Z axis, and we'll just rotate it down 180 degrees. Just move it towards the center of the plinth. So it's kind of like that, just there. Brilliant. OK. So I think we need to set the camera angle next so we kind of know what we're looking for. Let's just have a look what it needs to look like. So we'll kind of go for quite a, quite a low view of the car. Something like that, something around there. Okay, let's add a camera. Shift A, add the camera. Control, Alt, Zero to put the camera where the viewport is. And then we go Shift, Tilde to just angle the camera how we want it. I think that's probably about right, just there actually. Okay, so we've got the car nicely framed in the center. Um, let's just have a quick look at rendered view. So we're gonna switch over to cycles render, 
GPU compute, um, adaptive sampling on, denoising for both on. Okay, so now if we hop into that mode, you can start to see where we're at. So the next thing we need to do is add some light to the scene. So if you click on your world settings and click on the little dot next to color, change it to environment texture. And we're going to open environment texture. So this is one I've downloaded from Poly, is it Polyhaven? Um, downloads. It's called Cape Hill. And it's actually rather pretty sunrise scene. So press 0 to get back to your camera view. We're just going to rotate it. I just, you see this bit of sunshine on the right here? I just feel that's distracting a little bit from the car. So we'll just get rid of that by rotating the HDRI a little bit in 3D space. So what we'll do to do this, we go to the shading tab, you click on world, then you can see where the uh, controls for the HDRI are. Uh, if you've got road road, Node Wrangler enabled, press Ctrl T, it automatically adds the mapping node and we're just going to rotate this, let's just have a look where we are, let's just rotate this a few degrees this way, yeah I think something like that's about right, just there, just so we've got the light off this side, so the light off this side disappeared, that's pretty nice, okay. So let's go back to layout mode. Okay, so we've got the basis of the scene sort of built in here now. This is looking quite good. Um, we're gonna dress it up now with some assets from Polygonic again, but this time using their Botanic uh, add-on, which is absolutely amazing way to kind of add realism and detail onto your stuff. So let's just spawn some assets. So we're gonna have, let's get some rocks going on first. So we'll add a nice big rock. Press OK. Right. I can see it's spawned where the car is, so we're just going to move that. Rotate it a bit and pop it, pop it somewhere around there. And we'll duplicate that. In fact, we'll have two of those. I'll stick another one at the back of the house. We're going to we'll rotate it around again on the Z axis. G to grab. We'll pop it there. So now when we look at the camera view, let's just grab that one. So grab, if you hold down shift Z, it moves it on any axis except for the Z axis. So we're just gonna move it just to, I just want it poking around the back there. Okay, um, I also want to add in some trees. So we'll get some trees for the background first. So I'm gonna put one near the back of the house. So shift right click to put your 3D cursor there. Let's just have a look. So we want some deciduous trees, and we're gonna go for, uh, I think, the chestnut tree. Okay, and we just, let's just have a look from the camera. Not to go back to your camera view. G to grab, shift so it doesn't move on the Z axis, and we'll just pop that on there. Uh, shift D to duplicate, shift Z to move on everything but the Z axis, and we'll put it Somewhere over here, let's just look from the top. Let's just move it around here so it's not blocking in the house. And if you click here where it says random transform, it'll just do some changes to the tree so it doesn't look quite the same as the other one. I might even scale that one a little bit, a little bit bigger over on the Z. Okay, right, next thing we want to do. Uh, let's add a couple more trees in actually. So we'll have some trees in the foreground. Um, so we'll have some, what have we got? Birch tree, that looks quite nice. Let's have one of those. So we're gonna have this in the foreground, just add a bit of foreground interest. Grab, shift Z, let's bring it in a little bit. Let's just run and transform that, that's it. We just, what we're trying to do, we're trying to create a nice frame around the car, so your eye is drawn to look at the car in the centre. I'm just going to duplicate that again, and we'll put one again on this side. Maybe just have a few more leaves, sort of just at the top of the frame, just like that. Okay, so a couple of things that are standing out to me at the minute. Firstly, the plinth needs to have some texture. Let's add some texture to that first. So I'll just do a Control A to make sure the transforms are applied. 
uh, back to Blender Kit. It also does materials as well as models, so we're going to search for a paver. Um, paver stone 46 looks just the job. So we can see it's coming a bit big to the scene. Let's just go to this view so we can see it a bit quicker. Okay, we just go to the shading tab and we go back to object settings as opposed to world settings. Right, here's our paving stone. You can see it's, everything's already been set up, just the scale. So we're just gonna bring the scale. Let's, let's go a bit fast for me. Let's, let's just have a look at that. Okay, so let's go for something like minus seven, minus seven. Maybe even go more than that. You kind of have to eyeball it. Minus 10, minus 10. I think that feels about right to me for the scale of the car. And we'll just, I think actually that looks okay. Okay, so we've got a nice little platform now for it to sit on. Let's go back to the camera view again. Yeah, that's all looking good. I think we need a bit more foreground interest. Maybe another tree, I'm thinking. Let's just bring another tree over here, maybe. Maybe at the back, perhaps. Randomize the transform again. Drop it a little bit on the Z. Move it across just slightly. Um, and we could also add in some shrubs. Let's add some shrubs in. So, yeah, something with a bit of color. Rhododendron. And we'll have one of those in, we'll duplicate that. Randomize the transform. And we'll add another one right at the front of the scene. And we'll just cheat a bit, we'll grab this one on the Z axis. I want just to want to fill out this corner here a little bit. Let's just do a random transform on that, that's perfect. Okay, we're nearly there now. So, the next thing I want to do is add some flowers in the foreground. So what we'll do, uh, I'm just gonna add in a plane, scale it on the Y a little bit. Let's just grab it, Shift Z, I just wanna fill this corner in. And we are going to, let's just give it that green color just to um, stop it popping out so much. Did I call it green? No. I never get my name, green. Right, let's give this the green color. Search for green. Okay, now it's the same as the grass, but what we'll do, we'll spawn, we'll scatter some assets this time. So if you click on the little plus sign, and we're going to scatter some grass with flowers. I think that one looks nice. And there we go, we've got some flowers going on now at the front. Um, and we also need some grass on this big plane here, so we'll just click on the main, main plane and we'll scatter some assets. We'll just use the semi-dry lawn. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. Right. Let's just save this. I should have saved it much earlier. Right, and press F12, we'll do a quick render. That's already looking really good. So a couple of things that I've noticed that we're missing. I'd like the car to pop out a bit more from the center. Um, maybe with some light, extra light over it there. I also want some depth of field in the shot. So let's just add those bits in there. Firstly, we'll do the depth of field. So click on camera, click on depth of field. And we're gonna choose the focus object to be the Land Rover body. And we're going to set it at F1. And let's just go over to uh, rendered view. Okay, and that's put these flowers nicely out of focus at the front here. And the tree leaves are just slightly out of focus. It brings the focus onto the car a bit more. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add in a light. So I'm going to shift right click on the car. I'm going to add in a, an area light. Let's just move the, I'm going to go back into the other mode. Right. Right, 
I, now I want this area, this light, if you look at the render again, I should bring it up, to light up kind of the bonnet and the, the logo on the front of the car. So we're just going to grab that and the Z axis. Let's also make it um, elliptical, maybe a little bit bigger. Rotate it a little bit. Uh, let's just have a look from the top. Seven for top down view. Let's just grab that. I want it sort of to be over looking at the bonnet. I think we're just going to need to adjust the strength a little bit. And we just let's give it 50 watts, see what that looks like. That's getting it. So we're starting to get a little bit of pop now at the front of the car. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. Maybe a touch fraction stronger. Okay, we're just getting a nice little pop now at the front of the car just to lift off the page. Um, the other thing we could do is this white part of the building at the back. Let's just give that a different colour. So I'm just going to click it, I'm going to tap into edit mode. We'll select one of these faces on the side. Just change the view again. Um, let's select all the faces there. So you can do this really good shortcut. Just go to the select mode and select similar and we want coplanar. So that basically selects everything in that plane. Uh, we are going to add in the paver texture. So paver. Now we're going to assign it. I think we're going to need to scale it a bit as well. Right, so we do that under the UV editing tab. Let's just get that in there so we can see it. And press A, A to select everything and S to scale. That's it, we can see them now. So just eyeball it until you think it's about looks about right. I think that looks about right to me for a, a brick texture on the side of the house. Okay. So now if we go back to layout view, press zero to get the camera view. We've just made this wall here behind the car a little bit darker with a different texture. That'll help make the car pop out. I think we're nearly there. Control S to save, F12 to do another render. And there we have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I understand that sometimes buying add-ons for Blender can be expensive, but the time they save and the results they give are worth the price. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, there's affiliate links for both Traffic and Botanic below. Okay, at the start of the video, I promised you a little animated surprise. I've continued work on the image that we've created today, and I've put a little animation together. Have a look at this. <laughs>